we were growing up, when our generation was growing up, you would show up at school, you would, you know, be shocked to find out that so-and-so was wearing the same jeans that you had on, and mm -hmm. then, you know, uh, and then everything was happening in real time, so that if people didn't like your shirt, you would find out by their condescending glances in the halls between, you know, math and lunch. Right. But now, I, Camille, my daughter was just telling me that people have pictures of their outfits, and people, before they even arrive at school, have 37 likes on their new jeans or their new shirt. And so you're getting real-time affirmation, approbation, and disapproval. Um, talk a little bit about how that affects people's like um, sense of belonging at school in terms of popularity. Yeah, and that goes back to, I mean, it absolutely does affect them. And that goes back to being careful of what your kids are posting. Because a lot of times we're scared about, you know, don't post things that are inappropriate. Don't post pictures that you're going to regret on your wedding day when they surface with your ex-boyfriend. You know, don't post stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it even comes back to, don't post pictures of yourself with your face and your hair and your body and your clothes that you're going to be sad about if, if you don't get the reaction that you're wanting. Um, right. Because, you know, even if that's what you're wearing to school that day, it's kind of doing you a disservice to throw it out there publicly, and if you don't get the reaction you're hoping for, you're stuck in that outfit all day. So you might as well right. just not even offer that to the public to comment on.